So the first part of the problem is, what is the slope-intercept form of the line 4x plus 2y equals 12? So I'm going to always rewrite the problem. 4x plus 2y equals 12. Uh, I don't like the 4x being on the same side as the y, so I need to do minus 4x to both sides. Then we're left with 2y equals minus 4x plus 12. From there, slide over a little bit, I have to divide everything by 2. So 2y divided by 2, I'm going to come up here, is just y, equals negative 4x divided by 2 is negative 4 over 2x plus 12 over 2. I'm going to do some reducing, and we get y equals negative 2x plus 6. What is the slope-intercept form of the line? 4x plus 2y equals 12. That's y equals negative 2x plus 6. Number 2. What is the... Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit. What is the equation of the line that is parallel to number 1 and contains the point 0, 1? So parallel to our first problem and contains the point 0, 1. Well, our first problem was y equals negative 2x plus 6. And we want it to have the point 0, 1. I'm going to write x, y above this point just so I remember which is which. Now we have to start plugging in. Um, our slope, the m is right here, is identified as negative 2. So the parallel slope is always the same. But we need a different b. So we set this up as y equals negative 2x plus b, sub in this x and y from this point into x and y, so 1 equals negative 2 times 0 plus b, then we get 1 equals negative 2 times 0 is 0, b. We know the m and we know the b, so we write y equals blank x plus blank, and then negative 2 is in the m spot, and 1 is in b. So we know y equals negative 2x plus 1. We know that is parallel to this and contains the point 01. Moving on. What is the equation that is perpendicular to number 1 and contains the point 23? So this, this time there's two important things that we have to consider. If I can fix my... Uh, I want to angle to be a little bit better. Sorry, technical difficulties. Get over it. What is the equation line that is perpendicular to number 1 and contains the point 2, 3? So number 1, again, we have to write it. y equals negative 2x plus 6. And the point that we're going to be looking for is 2, 3. And I'm going to still write x and y because sometimes I mix them up. Uh, from here, uh, the, the setup is similar, but if our m was originally negative 2, our perpendicular m is going to be the negative reciprocal, so it's going to be negative 1 over 2. Sorry, just kidding. 1 over 2, because it needs to be flipped and the negative. So this is what the slope we're going to use in our new equation, and I'm going to write y equals mx plus b. The slope is 1 half, so I write y equals 1 half x plus b. I sub in 2 and 3 for x and y. 3 equals 1 half times 2 plus b. 3 equals 1 plus b. Minus 1 minus 1. b equals 2. So now I go build my equation. y equals x plus blank. My m is going to be 1 half, and my blank is going to be my b is 2. I can rewrite that without the blocks. 1 half x plus 2. This line is perpendicular to 1 up here. So we perpendicular to what we did there. Uh, and that's the answer. It also contains the point 2, 3. Last part here, it says graph number 1. I'm not looking for a lot of prettiness here. I just want the representation of the important stuff on the graph. Here's my axes. Number 1, write it again. Man, I keep having to write it. Y equals negative 2x plus 6, and then since it's plus 6 is the b, 
we know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the y-intercept. We know that point is on the graph. And y equals negative 2x plus 6. The slope is 2. Sorry, negative 2. So we know the orientation is going to be top left to down right. Um, and negative 2 equals negative 2 over 1 equals rise over run. So we go down 2 because it's negative 2. 1, 2, and over 1. Put another dot. Oh, sorry. So we started out here, and we went down 2 and over 1. And now we can connect them. That's the graph of y equals negative 2x plus 6.